we have found a new client. How do I pronounce his name? Outer Soul, Outer Soul. How do I don't even know? I'm just gonna call it Outer Soul. But this is the Discord. You can see that they have a little launcher that's coming soon. You can see the updates, you can see the polls and the downloads, which you guys are looking forward to. You can use any client launcher to use this as long as it has an injector, but I highly recommend using Fate Injector. It is super simple, it gets the job done. And you can see that they have a version for 1.20.5 and they have a version for 1.20.6. If you're on the latest version 1.20 by 7, it is not going to work. All right, let's leave this roll. I don't know if it does any UI changes to the home. Oh, you already know I have this downloaded. We're going to click right here. Click on yes. Make sure that the DLL is selected. So we're going to click on select. Order so DLL. Yep, there we go. Hit the inject button and we are chilling. Awesome. So it doesn't do any UI changes to the home, unfortunately. But let's go into world. Oh my God, I heard that there's a lot of features in this. So to enable the client, it is a super weird button. I don't know why it's the insert button in your keyboard. I mean, some people don't even have keyboards that have the insert button, um, but there's a way of changing this. Click the insert button. You can see that it does show, and there's a lot of features here. I can't wait to check these out. But of course, like I said, there's a way of changing this. So we go back, we go into the chat and we type in bind click GUI and then we put the button that we want to change it to. So let me see what button I don't use G. Do I even use G? No, I don't. So I'm going to bind it to G type in bind click GUI and I'm going to bind it to G and I completely forgot to put the dot by the way. So dot bind GUI G. There you go. And you can see that the key bind is of the GUI is now 71, which is G on your keyboard. So now if I click G, boom, there we go. And then if I click insert, it doesn't work anymore. So that's how you change the button gets the job done first things first you should do that because insert is just such a weird button but yeah we click on g ladies and gentlemen and we'll be here with those mob sounds and there we go and i like how each of them that you hover on shows the features so we got array list we got auto jump auto respawn auto sneak auto sprint what does this even do display your enabled modules on the hud okay i mean we can probably have that on auto jump automatically jumps i don't think that's cheating i guess but it can be i mean i know some servers do have like a little afk timer so if you have auto jump then like i mean i think that kind of bypassed that let me know auto respawn automatically respawn is insane we're gonna have to test this out in a bit auto sneak so if we click on the module like the actual name we can actually change the settings if it's visible the background opacity how it looks that's actually really dope auto sprint i mean it auto Okay, I was about to say it's gonna make you automatically just keep running. Um, automatic, automatic stuff for Hive. I don't know how. Oh, okay. So if you want to match, auto GG, and you can auto requeue and auto dodge requeues when a specific player is in the lobby. No way. Do you know how much of a game changer this is? Like, imagine there's a hacker that keeps joining my lobby, right? And I have like auto dodge. So I put auto dodge, support, delay, skywars, team size. Oh, I thought there was a way you can enable it so you could put like who is in a. Maybe there is. I don't know. But auto dodge sounds amazing. Dodge mode, delay, action bar, both. Okay, so we're going to have to probably test some of these. Oh my God. Auto dodge would be such a big game changer for us YouTubers, us streamers. Oh my God. I can't even begin to tell you how amazing it is. Block outline. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Replaces the block outline color. And you can favorite these as well. Oh, that is awesome. So if you want certain things on the top, kept on the top so you don't have to keep scrolling, you could just favorite it. That's awesome. Compass. I mean, it gets a job. I mean, it's compass. Custom font. You could change the font. Logs when you died in the chat. Full bright UI. Oh, okay. So we're going to have this UI on. That's dope. Hitbox. Runner hitbox of players in sight. Message logger. Logs all chat messages and write them into a file. Holy mother how come i didn't think of, why doesn't clients not think about this you don't understand how many times people like put something in the chat and then you want to go back to see what they said and you want to like hey you want to report it to the admins you want to do this you want to do that this is your best bet you have message logger on and you can see what everyone said within that instance and you can go back in the logs all that etc this is a game changer for your streamers as well you want to have this enabled just in case someone says something crazy because <laughs> if you've seen my streams you would know if you know you know name tag shows your name tag when you're in third person nick whoa 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 changes your name client sidely or you could just say client side you know that's <laughs> client side to nick on what your input is using dot nick only works in game okay this doesn't really make a difference unless it works on other servers that i'm not youtuber we're gonna try this out in a bit I, this <laughs> this client is insane night mode darkens the environment i mean we could just oh oh that actually looks kind of dope no filter disables the building and oh oh okay so i mean if there's some servers that have like a little censorship you 
enable this and you can see what they say ah, okay no render prevents certain things from being rendered this can definitely help with fps plays notifications we can have that enabled rainbow sky oh my god that's a little too much reach display req reqs once okay so use the settings from automatic okay you're lying you're lying skin stealer steel skins or capes from other yo tablets a simple tablet play time changer bruh we're gonna enable this real quick guys oh my lord am i twerking right now oh my god it is a lay let's just oh my bruh bruh am i really just twerking right now Ay, ay, ay. But you can see what you have enabled on the type right as well with the rainbow. I'm pretty sure you can even change that as well, but it looks dope. Oh my God, bro. Can I stop twerking? Golly. Vanilla Plus tweaks the Minecraft experience. Fast drop, fast drop. What? Plays the watermark. So if you want to support the client, you can do that. Waypoint shows holograms of user to find coordinates. And last but not least, you have Zoom, which you know does what it's supposed to do we enable zoom oh we are zoomed in we could probably put this as a little key by so we have a config manager as well um so you can have certain settings i don't know why clients don't have these as well so you can have a settings for pvp you can have one for you know like just survival or you could just have certain pvp you know what i mean like this is such a game changer oh my god client settings you can see the visible category buttons override accent so you could change the color all of that hover brightness round radius all that etc you can change that all within right here and paste this into file explorer so you can copy this and go right to where the client is so if you want to make any adjustments you can do that that is huge. So, so far, there's actually nothing here that I can consider cheating except for the auto jump. Because like I said, there is certain clients or certain servers that does have like an AFK timer. So if you enable this, I'm pretty sure you just like completely bypass. But I don't even want to go into the hive to try to skin steal it. We're going to go into, I don't even know, like play enable the auto. Oh, we could just literally turn that off if you don't want that rainbow effect. Nice. We're going to go into a different server. I want to try like another game to just something. Press on G. That's good that it just works on servers um let's see scroll down where is the skin stealer there it is so how do i do this you can steal it oh my god this is insane does this work like client side let me see okay just figured out so turn it on and middle click on the player to steal this skin so what wait a second oh i got it successfully stolen skin from it puts their name um successfully stolen geometry uh skin path has been copied to your clip board i want to see this actually work so we're gonna go over here let me try this put the path yes the skins that we copied are here ladies and gentlemen so let's actually delete these and let's actually try to see if it legitimately works so you see this this steve right here that's good buddy we're gonna just right our middle click middle click button the um scroll wheel button perfect we got your skin and it is right here everything word for word oh my god own skin choose new skin ain't no way bruh go over here open <laughs> I just stole this. <laughs> if we can get this video to 500 likes, I'm gonna do probably like a skin stealer like video where I'm trolling people. I'm like, oh hey, you know, da, da, da. and next you know I steal their skin and I just start trolling them. But if you guys have any clients or anything else you want me to check out, make sure you guys do join the um Discord server and you can DM me or just ping me and just put it in the chat. I think I'm gonna make like a little client section as well so I can check out clients. This has to be probably like my favorite client i'm not gonna lie and i'm pretty sure i heard that the skin changer is also an onyx premium um i don't know if that's true or not but oh my god this is a big game changer if i want a cool skin i could just copy it Ooh. <laughs> but thank y'all for watching the video it is your boy patsar i'll see you on the next one peace out